Praise the Lord. This is Pastor Tom Lark of the Father's House Church. And I'm coming to you with a word that the Lord gave me. He's been dealing with me about this for a long time. And I'm going to speak it out very plainly here. And this word um, has already been spoken by Jesus Christ, which is written in the Bible. But because many people... And I'm talking about the leaders, people who have moved into uh, positions in the church because they have not heeded and have not uh, taken Jesus' words to their heart. Then the Lord is giving me to speak out this word. And I believe it's going to touch some people and help some people to... Uh, see what the Lord is, is saying about this and I'm speaking of something that you might not think it's important but I'm going to show you that it's very important and I'm talking about this movement uh, to have leaders bishops and apostles and different people in the churches to start dressing up like if they're the Pope you know dressing up like if they're some kind of archbishop and stuff um, using these garments big robes and capes and everything and hats that are so big you know like so way you know they they shoot way on top of the head like that and and and, and people are wearing these things in the church and uh, you might say, you know that's that's nothing big you know leave it alone no but Jesus already talked about it. And he's been dealing with me. I've been preaching about it at, at, at times as the Holy Ghost would lead me. But I'm going to send a word out right now that you and, and um, you know, people that you may know who are uh, giving in to this wave that's trying to hit many, many uh, people in many churches that... Uh, you need to take a look back at what Jesus said and in the scripture I'm going to read you a couple scriptures here first Jesus talked about it and um, He mentioned about how people are dressing and how people dress is very important in Matthew 23 Jesus said and and he was speaking of the religious uh, people those that were um, they were supposed to be the leaders, but they didn't even receive Jesus. And and look what he said about it in, in, in Matthew. He said, but all their works they do to be seen of men. For they make broad their uh, phylacteries and enlarge the borders of their garments. Phylacteries is, was like a scripture verse, you know, that they would put on their garment. And Jesus said... You know, that, that these people that dress like that, they do it to receive honor from men. He went on to say, you know, after he talked about how they like to make their borders of their garments large. See, Jesus mentioned this. Jesus talked about people trying to dress in this way. And I was stunned when I first began to see people try to dress like that. And... um because it's something in the heart. See, look what he said. He said, and they love the uppermost rooms at feasts and the chief seats in the synagogues. See, if you come in dressed with the big robe and the big hat like that, you're going to expect, you know, to be honored by man. And, and you're going to want the, the best seat. You know, you're going to want to sit right up there on the, you know, on the uh, altar and you're going to expect, you know, to have like a seat, you know, like like a like a throne up there, you know, that you could sit on. And uh, Jesus mentioned some more about that. He said, woe unto you Pharisees, you hypocrites. He said, you're like whited sepulchers. See, Jesus said that. He said, woe unto you. He said, yeah, and he's talking to the Pharisees and scribes. And he said, you are hypocrites. He said, you're like whited sepulchers, which indeed appear beautiful outward, but 
are within full of dead man's bones, dead men, men, man's bones and all and of all uncleanness. He said, you appear outwardly to be righteous, but within you're full of hypocrisy and iniquity. See, Jesus mentioned how the appearance and the outward may appear to be very righteous. But when um, people begin to um, put these garments on and put these, um, uh, you know, shawls and stuff, you know, you know, I'm not talking about just a simple shawl, but, you know, you know, Jesus is addressing this issue and you know, some of you may have seen, you know, I'm sure most of you have seen where it's like suddenly there's like this big move and uh, people that were preaching the word and that were on fire by the spirit of God. Um, suddenly now they're coming out looking religious, you know, and when you put on these these big robes and these that hat that sticks way up there and you come out with a cane even, you know, you're coming out with this huge cane thing. Um, and when you come dressing like that, you're going to lose the anointing. You know, the more of that stuff you put on to impress people, you know, and, and I heard people talking about it. They said they're, they're doing this because they believe that they should be honored. They believe that, that um, ministers should be esteemed more. But that's not the way to get honor. You know, that's the way to get the honor of man. But you want the honor from God. The people of God will honor you if you are honoring God. You shouldn't demand honor by force. But by the anointing you have, by the power of God that's upon you, then then the, the people will honor you. And I'm gonna I'm gonna read a prophecy the Lord spoke to me today. And I wrote it down, and I'm going to read it to you right here. He said, Behold, this thing that you have done to mimic and copy that which those of old have done, even those who couldn't understand me and couldn't see me, though I was in front of their eyes. Behold, I shall also make you blind if you do not repent. For the same spirit that consumed the Pharisees that were against me is waiting at your door and has even entered some at the top positions that they have made for themselves. For why seek ye honor from among yourselves? Why seek ye praise and esteem of men and not my father? For behold, some of you have even rejected the existence of my father. Seek honor from him alone. Take ye off your soiled garments so I can clothe you. For your garments, though beautiful in your eyes, stink to me and are stained with blotches of shame from pride. And they remind me of garments stained with the blood of of my prophets who have suffered at the hands of the blind leaders who would never receive them. Repent ye and take off those garments and clothe yourselves with sackcloth and for a crown use the ashes of a humble heart and seek my face again and not the seats that are feared by my people who have been bewitched by those who have sought after them. Take off those garments, says the Lord, and I will clothe you with my spirit. And I, I mean, and it says, and you will walk in a new way, in my ways, saith the Lord. See, this is a word that the Lord gave me. And, you know, me, um, I'm just giving you the word. So search the scriptures yourselves and you see, you know, you'll see if you read Matthew 23 and other places, what Jesus said, and you read other scriptures, you'll know that, that the Lord is not pleased with that movement. You that are uh, being uh, taken over by this movement, see what they do, you know, they'll come to you 
and and talk about giving you you know um, ordaining you in this way into this movement to become an apostle or something like that and then next thing you know you know they want to clothe you with these robes and people that aren't uh mature enough to see or they're not close enough with the lord to see you know they will succumb to that honor that's trying to be given to them and that honor that's trying to be given to them from man is actually inspired by satan see satan knows that that if he can get men to walk in pride he'll get them to fall he'll get them to to begin to walk away from jesus but the more close you get to Jesus, the more you'll look in his image. And I'm not just talking about physically, but I'm talking about from within. But then he will affect the way you look physically as well. He's not going to have you look, you know, be looking religious so that people can't relate to you. And so it's confusing to new uh, believers when they see leaders dressed like this, you know, and it's um, something the Lord is um, going to deal with. I feel that those, I, I mean, I see in the spirit that those who will not take heed to what the spirit of God is, is speaking and what Jesus already spoke, it's already in the scripture. Those who will continue to walk in their way, I see them beautiful on the outside, but drying up on the inside. They're going to be so dry that, that many of them will say, hey, let me get back to Jesus. Let me get back to, to, to being humble at his feet. I mean, there's no better place than being at his feet. There's no better place than, than humbling yourself, not only before God, but before people too. If you exalt yourself above other people, you're going to be made low. He that exalts himself will become a base. If you humble yourself... Even as a leader, you're supposed to be as the servant. You're supposed to have the heart of a servant towards the people, not the heart of some great uh, um, arch eminence. You know, you walking in as some great eminence. You do that over, over the people of God, you're going to be brought low. And I'm just telling you by the Spirit of God, you better humble yourself. Now, the good thing about God, if he brings you low and he... and he will give you time to repent and time to humble yourself. But you don't want to go through this life being some great eminence and, and, and sitting on thrones of men. And then you end up going to heaven and you ain't got nothing. You know, all that will be burned in the fire because stuff that is, um, you know, from man, stuff that is from Satan, from the spirit of pride, hypocrisy, all that 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 people walk in is going to be burned up, and 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 a lot of those people that are involved with that, you know, they were succumbed by other people. God will have mercy, and and they'll still end up being saved. But I can't guarantee that for everybody, you know. Um, it all depends, you know. God knows everybody, and. And you don't want to end up losing your soul, you know, because Jesus did say a lot of people would say, hey, didn't I do these things in your name? I prophesied, I laid hands on the sick in your name. Uh, and then Jesus is going to say, well, you you have to depart from me. I never knew you. We weren't close, you see, and God is close to the humble. The Bible says God resists the proud and he gives grace unto the humble. Humble yourselves. It don't matter how big you think you are. It don't matter even how big of a church, you know, God's not against big churches. You know, I'm a pastor of a church and I wish my church was a hundred times bigger than what it is, you know, believe me. And so, or even unlimited, you know, I don't even want to put a limit on God with that, but it don't matter how big you get, you need to stay humble and be as a servant towards the people of God. Don't be uh, succumbing to this stuff, you know, where people want to esteem you with the honor of man and then you lose the anointing of the Holy Spirit upon you. You lose the likeness of, of the Lord's image shining out of you. Jesus is so humble. Jesus is so um, amazing. He even said, learn of me. I'm meek and lowly in heart. You know, 
And Jesus had to say that because he was contrasting himself with these leaders that were full of pride. And uh, he rebuked them fiercely. Those were the people Jesus was mad at. And, and that's why you see him manifesting, even in this message, a rebuke. You know, and he's not happy with it. Warning comes before destruction. So, and, you know, like I say, I mean, I, God is not saying he's going to totally destroy these people. What he's saying is things are going to fall apart. You can, you, you know, you're going to dry up. Um, you may be carrying on something in the sight of men, but as far as God's concerned, there's nothing adding up in heaven. You know, if you're walking in the pride of man. So, and then pride brings blindness upon you. You know, because grace comes to the humble. Out of his grace comes inspiration, comes fresh revelation. And you'll be lacking that. You know, things are going to dry up. I see, I see uh, many people in those uh, types of things. They're going to begin to dry up if they don't heed the word of the Lord. So um, I urge everyone to take heed who is who has already become a part of that. And if you're not, uh, stay away from these people that are trying to bring this religious bondage in the church of God. God bless you. This is Pastor Tom Lorek of the Father's House bringing you a word from the Lord today.